and let's go to the table so uh, before highlighting some parts we should uh, understand what is actually to, to be highlighted so looking at this table over here we can notice that maybe they have these 12 products but some of them are kind of special so product number five has very good rating and low protocols and the other extreme is product number 12 which has very low rating and high cost so probably these are two values which we want to highlight somehow so either you can do it classically just use the uh, the color of the shading so use the, for example green here and red here or put yellow that you just focus like okay there's something happening here but there are some more interesting way design wise uh, so uh, what you can do you can the simple the simplest way you can just add here the oval and use it as a marker so if you insert shape of the oval and uh, make it without no fill without fill and put a show outline for example green here let's make it a bit thicker so in this way you can create very quickly the kind of marker which you can place over some values in a in table and so people will notice that there's something is happening here i'm just going to copy it here and a good practice is also to use the colors which are which has some logic so if something is good use the green color if something is bad use the red color so it's easier for people to understand however we can do also more fancy design and for that one uh, let me just copy these shapes in a uh, presentation decks which we share on info diagram usually every presentation deck has a set of icons which we create and which we give people to so they can use it uh, and uh, so here we really like this Henderton shapes so we created them make them vector and so we can just copy them as a classical shape in the PowerPoint. So let me just copy these two shapes. We can put this one on the side and replace them with a more fancy look of this kind of marker. So we can just show, okay, this, this value is somehow interesting. We can change the color of it the same way as you do it, work with the, with the shapes. And also this is kind of blob or swoosh which can be placed here or here and again you can change this color this way so this way you can show specific point in an interesting way that's one thing you can do to enhance uh, table design graphically and also lead the eye of the reader also another thing you can use is to use color coding to make table more interesting and also express certain categories so for example here let's assume we want to differentiate the more the, the that we have these four categories four columns representing different categories so we can assign color to each one and for that one let's me use again the table style because uh, i would like to also use the to show you use of the banded colors so if i go here and uh, let's say i'll make what make my table look more turquoise so not 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 gray not the blue but let's make it look turquoise so we use the turquoise style and uh, as you can see we get rid of the grid so we the the table now is using bed knit colors so the lines are pretty nicely separated however we can uh, work on the title on the topic top so uh, if you want to keep then this kind of graphical consistency it's good to use one color of one type of the color so turquoise but let's use the let's say lighter turquoise and here the darker one for the end one from the same color that will guarantee you that's this kind of graphical consistency and let's assume that rating is something which we want to especially underline so we'll use the uh, bit different color yellow one so that's probably the most important parameter which we want to show we can actually also change color of the stars over here like I showed before uh, and this cell is empty so it's making heavy the, the look so we can just make it uh, transparent and this way you get a table which is more diverse by colors we used one type of color with and one extra one to show the like this the, the more important parameter next thing which you can do also we, should, also we should remember about the uh, checking if the font is readable so for example on this one the font is this is already 
too low contrast black on the quite dark background so let's just maybe change text to white yeah in this way we have a table which looks quite nice it's not looking difficult anymore next thing which we can uh, do is to replace the the symbols or use the kind of more fancy symbols and uh, so I like I have here a rating I replace with our stars and uh, as I mentioned like our decks usually have this associated set of icons which you can use so for example the hurry balls icons or the stars so let's use the stars here and just let me show you how you can replace this is a bit more timely than just stars but the effect is I believe much more interesting so it takes a few extra minutes but it's worse in my opinion so let's just copy the icons are already prepared this way so it's easy to they're grouped together so it's easy to manipulate with them so what I I'm doing now I'm resizing with the shift so that I'm keeping the proportions and let me just copy this one here and uh, in order if you want to keep the to change the color the look of the uh, this uh, icons you can do it either manually just change the filling but the uh, faster way is just to copy the style which we had so if you click on icon here use the format painter to load the style and then click destination and again load and click destination this way you can change the look consistently of the icons next thing we can you can do is to replace the cost information just for example choose the icon of the money over here and uh, instead of medium put the uh, let's say two icons of the money the high cost could be represented by three so that's what you can do also as well you can change the color of the icon this is outline icon so changing outline and just copy it and uh, create it here you have it already ready alignment so it takes a bit extra minutes but i think it's it's worse uh, another thing which you can do to illustrate better and create the interesting design of the table is to illustrate the the categories by icons like we did here and just to show you how that was done uh, let me just take the icon of the product so if I want to say this is the product table let's put the product uh, here we can put it inside some shapes so for example either circle or this kind of shape uh, I'll place it over here bring it back and make this one like make it central visually and make it make it white so this way I similarly did also this this these shapes they are behind the table so they kind of blend blend nicely with the table so just to summarize uh, how to you can has table this uh, design by various graphics use color coding to show to highlight important things to add some diversity illustrate content with icons and don't forget to highlight the key elements so the places where you want people to look at because there is something interesting happening